Chris, thank you. All week, people who live along the Georgia coast have been evacuating their homes knowing Hurricane Dorian <laughs> was approaching. This includes a group of newborns that needed to be transported from the intensive care unit in Savannah to Metro Atlanta. Matt Pearl gives us an inside look at the unit in charge of these new arrivals. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? For Brandon and Tyranny Wood, I see a purple cat looking at me. Everything is waiting. And two little kittens. Waiting in Atlanta. I see this. Waiting with Willow. Waiting in sterile calm. 200 miles from home and the storm. Just the, the anxiety of your baby being here and then not knowing whether you're going to have a home to go back to. Two weeks earlier, one week before a tropical wave named Dorian became a hurricane, Willow arrived three weeks ahead of schedule. When she was born and they laid her on my chest, she was kind of blue. And I got very upset because I, I didn't see her breathing. Willow spent the night on a ventilator. Feeding issues kept her in the NICU, mm -hmm. and then... You can prepare for one situation, but when that situation changes, it just throws you through a loop. As Dorian arrives near Savannah, 10 Savannah NICU babies have been transported to Scottish Rite Hospital. A team from Children's Healthcare of Atlanta drove them. 200 miles. Right now we are completely full. We have um, our max capacity, 39 beds are full. They're displaced from their homes and making sure they have a place to stay once they get here. All of our stuff is there. And I don't know if my kids are gonna have their beds, if we're gonna have our beds. With their home and their daughter, Brandon and Tierney can do little but wait. Hey, we know. They bought a Minnie Mouse to watch over Willow's crib. <laughs> they read to her. Hi. They hold her, and they live in the glimmers. There we go. That erase all fears, even for a moment. I forget about everything when I hold them. Absolutely everything. Brandon is a sergeant in the Army. His family moved from West Virginia about a year ago. Brandon and Tierney have two other children, ages six and four. They're staying with their grandparents while their parents stay with Willow.